Hey Martin, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, you can see where I'm at on our bottom lot here. Uh, up there's the top lot, and if you were to go down this dead end street here, you would see um, all of our resources here because this is the headquarters. So you'd see like our reconditioning facilities, our service centers like this one. We've got a bunch more back there, and a uh, place we do wheels and tires and lifts and stuff like that, and uh, our photo booth, all that good stuff. So as I walk around this 22 F250 Lariat that we've been talking about, a couple things. One, it's a little dusty right now. It's been very dry here recently. We got a windy day, so a lot of our vehicles kind of have that film on them. Uh, I hosed it off, but you're still going to see some of that um, on there because I just did that real quickly to do the video. Um, but all in all, very good shape. I drove it for just a second and uh, was very, very pleased with it. Um, as far as the way it rides and drives and everything. Um, looking down the driver's side, so we're just going to walk around it. Looking down the driver's side, not a whole lot for me to point out here. Not a lot of major dings, scratches, anything like that. Now, the truck is used. We don't expect it to be perfect. All of our vehicles are used, so I always say, hey, all of our stuff gets grace. Uh, they're all going to have something on them. But that driver's side looks great. Just looking at the wheels, you got Goodyear Wrangler tires. They are not new. But they're pretty good. I'm going to say between 50 and 60% tread on the back there. It's another wheel in good shape. Wow, that front is probably 85 to 90%. Another one 85 to 90 and that may even be closer to 95%. Those are really good. So the back ones, if they match, and they do, back ones are going to be between 50 and 60%. Front one's going to be way up there, 85, 90% tread. Uh, you're not going to have to do anything with these for a couple years, uh, to say the least. All right, so let's look across the front. Not a lot of rock pecs or bug damage. You can see a few bugs on there from the little drive that I did. Headlights, fog lights, everything looks good. Everything straight ahead. A little dusty on the hood, but no hail damage. Nothing like that. Really good shape. Like that. Even the air dam, so that's a big thing with these F-250s specifically, like that F-350, you can see the same way. The air dam hangs down so low there uh, that it's prone to getting hit, uh, ripped, cut, uh, but that one is intact, nice and firm, nothing loose there. Passenger side, walk down that really nice just nothing major for me to point out and, I, and I'll probably miss a scratch or two on it somewhere because again it is used but nothing to point out really back side of it looks great back bumper great parking sensor straight ahead really nice across the back tailgate really good all right so let's get to that bed it's a very light tailgate, but it doesn't have that hydraulic letdown on it. Scratching in the bed, no major craters or chunks as I jump up in here and about hurt myself. So you're just gonna see some scratching, that's all that is. So this would be a prime candidate for a spray-in bed liner or a drop-in bed liner, either one, because you don't have excessive damage to the bed anywhere that I can see. It's just scraping. So I did a little research on it. This was used as part of a rental program. So a lot of people worry, well, like, okay, if it was a rental, have they been pulling something massive with it or whatever? Well, the answer is no, because the bed has not been cut for a fifth wheel or major uh, trailer of any sort. So uh, probably just routine, whether it be shrubs, sticks, blocks, whatever it may be, but no major, no major chunks out of it, just some light scratching. It's kind of a clean slate for you, whether you want to do spray in or drop in. All right, let's take a look at the frame underneath. Truck sits up high enough. That shouldn't be too hard to do. And that is exactly what we want to see. Really nice. No signs of excessive rust, corrosion, anything like that. And then we'll pair this look with a look underneath the hood just to frame up maybe more of the history of the truck. Looks good there. You'll see 
some black under here. We do an underspray on all of our vehicles, whether it's a Nissan Altima, Toyota Camry, Ford Escape, or a big truck like this. A lot of our vehicles we get have like a red clay stain to them underneath, and we don't like that. We want uh, we want that to be nice and clean looking. And that the the underspray we do has a little bit of a seal component to it, which is nice, kind of protects the vehicle for a little while moving forward. Not real long, but uh, just a little something there. Uh, makes them look good in pictures and protects it a little bit. Awesome. So I always tell people, I don't know an alternator from a radiator, but I can look through, you know, like an engine bay for excessive rust, corrosion, just look at some connections that we see sometimes that get eat up. The only thing I'm seeing is dust. Uh, so see back through here where like our cleanup guys can't really get to. Just It's just a little dusty. So it's been a dusty environment, but filters is part of our check that we do. So that would be one thing that I can see what all we've done to this truck when it got here and get you that print out. But uh, yeah, super, super clean across the top. I like it. I like it not all used trucks are created equal to say the least some of them are a lot harder to sell than others this one kind of sells itself you can tell it hadn't been mistreated very good shape all right let's go to the inside that's where ford probably shows off the most is the interior really nice leather seats no smells doesn't smell like smoke or animal or anything like that. I smell leather. Uh, that's actually your uh, some cleat tie downs. I think that would be for the bed. So still in the accessory packaging, which is great. Straight from the factory. Looks like a sticker, maybe a maybe a part number that goes to the back of the glove box there. Um, so that can come off, of course. Really nice through here. I you notice? I mean, this is one thing. So Ford. As spacious as anybody on the inside, the cab rides so quiet and smooth and all that. One thing they struggle with, for whatever reason, are these caps. These, this, whatever material this is, is just prone to that right there, the scratching. So you're gonna see that there. A little bit on that one, very, very little on that one. See a little bit of it here. This is a common thing. If you show me 10 F-250s with this trim, you're gonna see that on nine in the ten i would say driver door handle pretty good i don't really, don't really see much on that one passenger looks good too and then we see this area right here gets scraped up but that one's good all right love this operating system love this display it's got an xm subscription still active on it so that's great as long as the previous owner or the factory doesn't shut that off you can just keep enjoying that of course you got your apple carplay android auto uh, navigation is going to be over here and I think you can, yeah, switch them. Uh, so that's great. Um, uh, let's see, what else do I want to show you on this? Uh, let's hit the, should be a camera option on here somewhere. Or at least I can just do it like this. Nice big screen, nice big backup camera. Crystal clear on that. And let's see. Try to go through some of these options just to make sure everything is in working order and it appears to be so got a display here 29,639 miles that's important because that means it'll still qualify for one of our factory type total care warranty protection plans which is so nice um, because that factory type total care protects not just the engine and transmission there's your owner's manual and stuff like that uh, but alternator battery radiator backup camera, parking sensors, all that good stuff. Uh, you got heated and cold seats here. Um, yeah, I'm not a big warranty guy, but I've bought that one several times because of all that computer coverage. Not to mention engine and transmission and roadside assistance and all that stuff that comes with it. Uh, but there's no deductible on it and it's parts and labor included. And it is a nationwide coverage. Uh, so any insured mechanic can get paid to do the work. So with only, having only 29,000 miles on it, it should qualify for the longest version of that coverage, which is a six year 120. So a big time, uh, big time coverage there. Let's try to see if there's any other 
options that I need to go through with on this here. So that's switching over your right hand menu there. Oh, that's just going to be more options there. Yeah, very good. Great. All right. Obviously, you, you can customize the way that looks as well on the inside. Let me know what other questions you have. Very pleased with it. It's not a loaded, loaded Lariat. It doesn't have the double roof, you know, on the top. A uh, few other features, but I'm, I'm extremely, extremely pleased with it. Great shape. Rides and drives good. Let me know what other questions you have.